All right, now that we've got the impeller off, we can remove uh, the rest of the parts so we can uh, get to the uh, bearing repair kit that you can do on these maintenance-free bearing assemblies. So we'll just take the seal kit off. You'll need a new seal kit when you do the bearing kit change out. Set all the parts aside. Now what we'll do is we'll remove this whole assembly and replace it with a brand new one. And you're going to have to go in the back side of the uh, bearing assembly frame. And John, if you can get in here, you'll notice that there's two hex head screws in there that have to be removed. Pull them out right now. I'll just let them drop on the table here. the screws out. Now if you notice the cover plate wants to separate from the frame of the bearing assembly, all you have to do is lift it straight up and out. So if you have bad bearings, this is a cheaper way to go instead of doing or replacing the whole bearing assembly. And now we'll just put it back together with the new one. What you want to do is uh, make sure you look down in here, there should be a wapple spring at the bottom. And then what we'll do is we'll make sure that the holes on the back of this line up with the bolt holes back here that I pulled the two screws out of. So we'll drop it in place. Just kind of set it in there and it rotates real easy so you can line up your screw holes. And I'll go back here and line them up. and then we'll screw it back into place. All right, now that you got your screws started, you can start to tighten them. I like to rotate after a couple of turns just to make sure you pull that shaft and cover plate in kind of equally. And just snug them up. You don't need to torque on them. Okay, now that we have the new bearing frame repair kit in place, we can start uh, to put the seal kit back on.